greetings. Figured I'd um, give you a little walk around of my four inch hexacopter. Um, this was mostly built from parts that I had laying around when I was trying to get this thing to fly how I wanted it. So originally I had this as a 4S setup and I wanted to try and um, have good performance but have a hexacopter and have the characteristics of a hexacopter which I prefer over a quad. Um, so these BR2205 2600 kV motors um, were left sort of sitting around and I figured you know what I might try and um, might try and run them with success they're only 10 bucks so I already had them they weren't doing anything so I'd try it and it turns out that they can actually run success so this is a Kriegerpuss frame it's using a uh, sorry about the uh, <laughs> dodgy hole it's using a Martek F405 flight controller from Phaser FPV um, it's got the matching F6S I think it's called FC hub or something like that um, flight controller um, rubber standoffs it's running at 16k gyro 16k PID uh, it's just got your standard Foxy 1177 camera on it um, it's got a uh, you know, MinSRC um, Pagoda and actually I am um, cheaped out on the VTX on this but it's actually working really well it's using a um, a uh, VTX 03 from Banggood um, which is it's surprisingly pretty good I mean I don't know if it leaks over into other channels but it seems to be working okay and it's um yeah and it's just mounted beneath the the pod in here um, this pod's only ABS because you know, didn't really want to spend money on this thing. Um, I've added uh, capacitors to prevent voltage spikes, which seem to kill a lot of my 6S setups. No matter how good of an ESC you'd use, you really need caps on a high voltage setup. Um, these are from Nemo, Nemo's Quad Supplies. Um, and the ESCs are actually his as well, but I believe they're based on the Spidix. 30 amp HV, I think they're called, or high voltage. So they're good for success um, and 30 amps. And, and I'm also running them on on my um, my five inch, um, and I'm also running them on my three inch um, because I just really like them. They they run really well, and and um, the four inch and five inch are running D shot uh, 600. Um, which is really smooth. I'm really, really happy with how it flies and that, and with the the matching PID loops. So I'm really looking forward to trying out an F7 flight controller with D Shot 1200 when that becomes more available. But um, back to the four inch. Um, the four inch is it's it's a pretty basic build. I mean, you, you kind of got to route the wires oddly to to match the pod, um, and it's all held to held down by these uh, M3 nylon lock nuts um, and uh, yeah these these motors they, they get they get warm on success when you, you're really throttling it and you're really giving it but um, they do handle it I think I suspect it's it's to do with the air gap that that they um, that they accidentally put in them which is which is usually what you, you don't want with a motor from what I'm led to believe it, it sort of takes away from its torque and cogging and and its ability to, um, to to really spin up and make power whereas these have quite a large air gap and um, it seems to work for, for me <laughs> because it's 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 really like a, you know it's, it's it's quite difficult to find a small sort of sub 30 gram motor that will run success um, and and I don't know if I mentioned but but Realistically, um, I found hexacopters really can't run for us. Just simply put, it's because the batteries can't put out enough amperage. So you're kind of left with with running 6s with low kV typically. So these are these are F80, um, 1900 kV, which I will be swapping out for um, Earthfire and Water, um, 
2407 um, 2200 kVs which I'm hoping still will keep the amps down but um, typically out of this one if I'm running um, doing a big session like if I really push it I could I can only get about a minute out of the battery um, out of a 1300 success um, but if I you know if I'm just doing flips and a bit of acro and you know like big punches with a few flips and rolls and whatnot um, it, on average I get about two minutes um, before I've got to land at 22.2 .2 volts and that's to me is very acceptable I mean with the five inch because it's it's got so much more prop it actually um, has about the same um, flight time and these are only 1900 kV so um, it's 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 been an interesting experiment running these at 6s just simply because they're barely rated for it um, and, and a lot of people complain that they, they are crap at 4S, which they are, I mean, they, they just don't make any power. They make like, I don't know, like 800, 900 grams static thrust and a decent prop. And they just don't have the torque because of their, their size for a, to run the new generation of heavier props that have a lot of meat and a lot of pitch. So, um, and yeah, it's, it's, a, it's actually a really, really fun <laughs> thing to fly because um, it's just mental you, you nail the throttle and it's just it's just crazy like, it's crazy what it does so um, I'll, I'll upload some footage and uh, I guess if you're interested feel free to leave a comment and um, I'll do my best to answer thanks for watching